Welcome to my channel Dazzling Stepping Stone. I am Bharati Srija. Today we are going to discuss about double C topic. Yeah, C for carrier amplifier, another C for chopper amplifier. Both are very interesting topic. Let us move to that now. First we should know what is bio amplifier. Bio amplifier are used for measuring the physical quantity and it is mainly used for amplification. Sometimes the measured signal is having very low amplitude and low frequency to boost up the signal we are using bio amplifier. There are different types of bio amplifiers available. We have already discussed about operational amplifier, differential amplifier, instantiation amplifier and isolation amplifier. Today we are going to see about carrier amplifier and chopper amplifier. So first what is carrier amplifier? So here we are using carrier signal. So the block diagram of this carrier amplifier is displayed here. Here we are using strain cage transducer. You know the operation of transducer. It is measuring the physical quantity and it is converting into electrical signal. This transducer is excited by the oscillator. Here carrier oscillator we are using it is generating the carrier signal. Now the signal which is filtered after that it is converted into one format. Can you guess what is type of modulation we are using here? By seeing this waveform, you can identify easily. Of course, here the amplitude is modulated. So, the amplitude modulation concept we are using. After that, it is amplified by using amplifier. Now, this AC signal is converted into DC by using rectifier. After that, this DC signal is coming to phase sensitive detector. So, it is a detector section. Here, we are using demodulation concept. So, if we are using amplitude modulation here, again, we have to use amplitude demodulation here. After demodulation, we are recording the signal using direct writing recorder. It is a recording unit. So, this carrier amplifier is also called as direct current amplifier. Here, the DC input signal is filtered at first. After that, it is modulated. Then, it is amplified. Now, this amplified signal is rectified and again it is filtered, again it is passing to the phase sensitive detector, right? Here we are using transducer, this transducer which is excited by using oscillator. Now, there is a change in the amplitude of the carrier signal. The output of the transducer is called as amplitude modulated signal. This modulated signal is given to the amplifier. The amplifier is called as multi-stage capacitance coupled amplifier. Now, the first stage which is producing the amplitude modulated signal. Now, the second stage which is having phase sensitive demodulated circuit. Here, demodulate, demodulation is happening. After that, the signal will be recorded using driver stage of writing system. We already discussed about transducer. We can use two types of transducer. First one is strain cage transducer and second one is pressure cage transducer. If it is a pressure cage transducer, transducer we have to use the calibration control. Now, the advancement in the carrier amplifier is called as Larkin amplifier. So, it is a very useful version of the carrier technique. And it is used for measurement of low level signals which is buried in noise. Sometimes the signal may be mixed with noise. At that time, if we want to amplify the signal, we can use this lock-in amplifier. So, the main advantage of this lock-in amplifier is it is reducing the wideband noise and also increasing signal-to-noise ratio because it is suppressing noise and it is increasing the signal strength so that the signal-to-noise ratio will be increased. And the second advantage, it this permits the signal which is to be recovered from the noise background. So, the virtual signal can be recovered easily. So, you can understand about the carrier amplifier. Now, let us move to chopper amplifier. So, here we are using the circuit called as chopper. So, chopper circuit which is used for power control and signal applications. It's a type of electronic switching device. So, this chopper which is mainly stabilizes the system against drift of electronic components. Sometimes the system may not be stabilized and there will be any drift problem. At that time, we can use the chopper device so that it will stabilize the circuit. Now, by using this chopper device, we are constructing the amplifier. Just to see the circuit diagram, here we are having two stages of amplifier. The first stage is called as AC amplifier. The second stage is called as DC amplifier. 
we are passing this signal now the signal is the measured signal okay we are measuring the signal from the patient now we are passing that this signal will be filtered by using low cost filter here we are using rc component now this signal is coming to ac amplifier at the same time the chopper device which is excited by the oscillator which is converting the signal into ac now the signal will be amplified by the ac amplifier now it is demodulated again it is filtered by the low pass filter the same low pass filter here we are using at the demodulator section after filtering we are passing the signal to the second stage of amplifier so this is called as dc amplifier now this amplified signal is recovered and recorded at the output side let's discuss again see the chopper amplifier is a very very useful device in the medical field it is mainly used for avoiding drift problem and also it is stabilizing the circuit so this amplifier it is using chopping device which is slowly varying the direct current into alternating form with amplitude which is proportional to the input direct current and with phase dependent on the polarity of the original signal now we are using ac amplifier it is amplifying the signal again it is rectified back to get a amplified direct current so this chopper amplifier is a very good device which is reducing the drift problem so it is chopping the low frequency components and it is amplifying the chopped signal in the ac amplifier again it is demodulating the signal after demodulation it is again pass the low pass filter because we are having components r2 c2 because by using that we can filter the signal now we are passing to the dc amplifier after filtering this signal may be having some minor offsets and bias current because if the chopping device is not doing the work properly that is called as imperfect chopping then this offset will be extremely small so we can use switch driving oscillator built on the model to avoid such kind of noise we can use feed back networks and external wiring so this kind of noise can be eliminated by using feedback networks and external wiring also we can use feedback capacitor to limit the overall bandwidth and also we can reduce the noise another option we can use shielding to avoid the noise so mainly while we are using shielding in the circuit also in the wire and we can protect the system also the signal from the noisy environment so this noises can be avoided the main advantage of this chopper amplifier is in sensitivity so it is not affected due to aging even uh, the days are increasing even if may use the device for long days it won't be affected if any temperature changes or any environmental factors changing or due to power supply variation this chopper stabilized amplifier is not affected so the in single word we can say it is in sensitivity and this amplifier can also be designed in both single ended as well as differential input configurations so these are the main advantages of chopper amplifier where we can use a chopper amplifier we know that we can use this amplifier in the medical field for example while we using strain cage pressure transducer or temperature sensors like thermistor and thermocouple at that time we can use such kind of amplifier so this is the main application of chopper amplifier so you understand today about chopper amplifier and carrier amplifier so i hope that you have understand clearly about two types of amplifier so let us uh, ending the session now be strong and be beautiful and be you thanks for watching this video